Most cable engineers make this mistake and it's costing solar farms millions of dollars. I was talking to three senior electrical engineers from a global construction company who had built a massive solar farm. Their cables in their trenches were overheating and failing and no one knew why. The electrical engineers went back to the drawing board and they modeled their cable trenches. The modeling confirmed that the overheating was indeed caused by the cables being installed too closely together and the soil was drying out. Here are three key takeaways. Number one, always model your cable trenches for your solar farms. These trenches typically include a lot of cables in close proximity, so neutral heating is a serious problem. Number two, always go to site and take soil thermal resistivity measurements. You need to know the moist soil thermal resistivity and the dry soil thermal resistivity values with accuracy. And number three, always model soil dry out in your calculations and always calculate the critical temperature at which soil dry out occurs.